In this video, I wanted to introduce you guys to Vertex pants. Now, uh, I started out with like 511, you know, pants, the uh, Defender, the Defender Flex, I believe it is. And these are the Defiance jeans from Vertex. So I uh, wanted to check out different options because, let, let's face it, like around this time, 511s are going for about $85 a pair. And I wanted something cheaper that does basically the same thing. And really, this is probably the closest that you're going to get uh, So ha uh, of having pretty similar features. But there are differences. Now, there are color options with Vertex. If you look on Amazon, they say there you have like seven different colors. Now, there's really three. I would say they're going to be in a black category, uh, a blue category, and what they call a sandstorm, which is going to look like khaki jeans. So, uh, you know, khaki color jean. So I usually have blue jeans, but I wanted to break up the, the variety or break up the uh, color pattern so I could have more variety because I have a lot of blue t-shirts and stuff. So that might be a good option instead of just having like one whole closet full of just blue jeans is break up the monotony. I, I just do not look good in, in the uh, khaki colored uh, pants, really. Uh, for whatever reason, it just doesn't look right. But anyways... Uh, there's about seven different colors, and the price does range between somewhere around fifty, uh, fifty-five dollars, and like seventy bucks, depending on the pair that you get, the size, and everything. And it's all based on availability, at least on Amazon. I'm not sure where you would be shopping, but obviously there's sales, and you know they base it off of what's in stock. So that's something to uh, to consider. So. The features on here is, I mean, it says Vertex in, you know, a few locations, so you're, you're not really going to be mistaken. But one of the biggest features that really sets this apart from other, other pants is really, like, the mesh pockets here. Now, I, I, some of you might be looking at this and being like, okay, that is just kind of odd, having mesh pockets. But it does kind of make sense. Uh, so it can help ventilate and stuff. Now, for me, I actually will take my dogs on a run in whatever pants I'm wearing that day. I won't get into exercise gear. I won't get into shorts and a t-shirt for a run. If I'm in boots and, you know, jeans and a t-shirt, that's what I'm running in at, at the end of the day. And at the beginning of the day, I just put on whatever clothes and I go for a run. I don't dress up for the occasion. So that's just me. And, and so... One of the other features in these pockets would be like this little lanyard loop right here, or like maybe a dummy cord loop. And of course it's tagged red, I, I'm guessing for you know high visibility. I, I don't know, uh, but this is actually pretty small. Maybe you could actually get one of those small carabiners in here uh, for like holding your keys. But personally, I, I, I don't know how much I would trust this to actually hold weight, uh, but I don't know, I, I've never tried it, so I can't really speak to it. So. You have that for the at least the front pockets and the back pockets as well, uh, or the what I would call the magazine pockets. So here the pockets right here are pretty much in the same position as a uh, 511 pant, but they're a little bit more forward. So you have this pretty neat little transition here. You have your front pocket and then you have the little magazine pocket which can fit an entire AR mag and actually conceal it in here it's pretty sweet and then you have your back pocket so where this pocket ends uh, this pocket begins for the most part so there's not overlapping you're not going to be stacking up your wallet and whatever's in the side here necessarily so not really too much to worry about and again a nice little piece of leather with vertex on it right they don't want you to make a mistake so just like the 511s they have this nice feature where the belt loops are actually uh, they have a good amount of belt loop coverage, so it's not like you have two here, one here, and one in the front. You actually have you, know, you have eight of them, so you have three on each side, and then you have two at the back. And this is the area that typically will sag when you're carrying, So, and you have like a gun on your belt or a belt in general. So they did a really good job at staying consistent with like uh, pocket depth and stuff. I would just say these pockets are pretty deep and I actually take my keys, my key fob for my uh, truck and I'll actually 
uh, put it inside one of these magazine pockets and use this as a quick unlock or lock. So all I have to do is stick my thumb in there and I'll position it to where all I have to do is go in there. But with this pocket, I actually have to reach pretty deep compared to like the 511. So with the 511s, a lot of the magazines to stick out a little bit. This one will completely conceal it. So that's going to give you an idea of how deep this actually is. So you're going to get a depth like from here to here. So like I said, full size. All right. So some other features that are on here would be a little bit of reinforcement in the articulation points for the jeans. So what you'll see is they uh, they double stitched in these areas, or they, not double stitched necessarily, but they they broke the they broke the material and then they overlapped and stitched. This is to kind of reinforce these these little areas right here to release tension, I guess, or at least reinforce the the area so I guess that's a nice feature I haven't really noticed it being a big issue because these are somewhat baggy but really not that bad the hem is actually uh, holds up pretty well I, I haven't had any issues on these hems but these are actually relatively new so let's take a gander at at this hem so on this one I haven't had any issues of it coming down but Obviously, this would be the first part to actually start fraying from friction against the boot, a ground, depending on what kind of uh, shoe or boot you decide to wear. It may scrape the ground a little bit. So, I mean, other than that, there's really not much of a difference between this and the 511s. Uh, so, I, I would just say it's a less expensive option that's got a couple of nuances that you may or may not like, but... I, I think for the money you're actually getting a lot and I do think though this I don't trust it to be the like the most durable or something that you want to put like jagged stuff in because uh, I wouldn't want this getting cut open and then stuff's falling down your pant leg uh, this does actually help you help your legs breathe a bit instead of like trapping it inside and giving you like heat rash on the knees or whatever the heat does release here and these vents do let out a good amount of body heat so that is my experience because like i said i do go running in whatever i'm wearing that day and typically with a new pair of pants i'll take them for a run and i'll go run a few miles and you know see how it is so anyways this that's just me introducing the vertex pants and giving them a little bit of experience that i have with them They've held up pretty good. They're they're kind of like, I don't really notice much of a difference between them and 511s except for those little features. So, yeah, let me know what you think about these in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you around for another video.